Hey guys, Colvin here. Welcome to another Ray Challenges video. This will be another arena push video for Platinum. I did have the time today to actually do a push. So uh, I wanted to share with you guys some of the fights that I did today. After that, I will be showing my champions and some of their gear since I don't usually do that. So I said, okay, this time I'll show the gear that I used on most of my champions. Uh, many of them, I haven't changed much of the gear, but on defense is where I changed most of the gear compared to my previous videos. If you guys remember, if you haven't, then it's it's no issue. Just watch until the end. And after all the fights are done, I'll show you the gear for uh, all my champions. So guys, starting out this video, um, we're 10 minutes right before reset. I was very close to planning them because I, um, well, basically I pushed the, the night before. Due to all the bot situation in, in this game right now, we've got an issue. The issue is that everybody just pushing up, pushing up the, the limit to get into platinum. So um, we have the 4,800 points limit when it used to be 4,300, I think, before the bot situation. So I had to do a few refreshes just so I can get um, right before Platinum, so I was ready for today. Um, I wasn't pushing the last 10 minutes only, I was pushing the last 25 minutes, but the teams weren't uh, anything interesting. These teams though, these are the teams that you usually find um, when entering into Platinum. So this is a big issue, uh, at least for me, because I'm like, my, my mind is going um, all over the place, like which team should I attack, which is the, the riskiest one to attack. The Necro teams are obviously going to be very tanky. The Torment teams uh, can be quite a surprise sometimes. Cadrophone can be annoying. And whenever you got teams with a Warlord now, that's a big threat also because if the enemy is faster than me, which can be the case many times because I don't know the speeds of the enemies. I've got a fast Arbiter, but still there's many people who are faster than me. I don't know who is faster. And it's not only about being faster, it's also being faster and speed tuned. So. Uh, if you have one champion who can be the fastest of them all, if you're not speed tuned, then <laughs> the enemy can just interrupt um, your arbiter and just take his turn and uh, just destroy you totally. So, um, yeah, I'll just uh, just press play from here and we'll see this team. So the team that I'm using for offense um, in this in this push is this one. So um, I've got a speed tuned warlord right here and. Uh, Chanda there for the nuke and Madame Series. So I do need the Madame Series for the nuke. And that's my general team for pushing now. Problem with this team is that sometimes I want to replace Madame Series. But my Chanda is not that that um, hard of a hitter. Even with the gear that she has, I'll show that in the end. She's not that hard of a hitter to, to actually make a big difference without a defense down. So I kind of needed the defense down for the the more tankier teams uh this is not a real tanky team but um yeah the the um the duchess definitely helps because of her passive which reduces the aoe damage taken so for this one which has a hegemon i think i definitely switched uh switched my my setup so i think i went team that i use here is a instead a warlord lead for the resistance and then uh chris there for the big huge shields look at those shields that i have so here my Warlord, by the way, guys, has about a 450 resistance plus 80 from his lead. That's five, 530, right? 530, and I got both both debuffs on him. So these this Hedgeron must be a real high accuracy Hedgeron. Um, I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So my ideally, my Warlord would take a turn, and he would actually go there with his A3, increase the cooldowns of everybody, and be safe here. But honestly, this team is not much of a threat with Krisk in there because they cannot remove... Uh, Chris's buffs. I will now remove their own buffs with my man. I'm serious. Look at that. And there's only the strength and buff now on the enemies, which isn't that much for Chanda. Um, did I do A2 here? Okay, I did A2. I wanted to see if I could proc um, Swift Parry. Apparently, they didn't have Swift Parry, and she actually managed to survive, so didn't hit for that much. Here, I should have done the A3. Maybe I could land the provokes there and and not get uh, everybody revived. So this, this fight could have gone way less time than it actually goes for. So um, I think now Cadrophone is going to take a turn. No? No. I think we just clear them out. No, we got double weak hit there on Cadrophone. And look at that counter attack from Cadrophone. That's why I have him on my defense. I've got a Cadrophone on my defense. And <laughs> look at that. With all this shield that Trenda has, he took 
are all of it be just just through a counter so that it shows how strong of a counter um the counter masteries are on Caterphon. So here, yeah, the fight goes on for about 25 seconds more and I'm trying to get into plat. I'm like three points away and I look at my defense. My defense has, uh, this is this is all the fights that I had on defense, uh, by the way, for this reset. So three defeats, which are reasonable, I guess, uh, especially this team right here. Um, probably Hedgy went, locked out everybody and then uh, he cleared me with Trunda. And then uh, this one, this one was weird. Okay, with Solas in the team. I was really surprised to see this as a win. And then this one again, um, I mean, really solid team with the Hegemon. So this team obviously couldn't beat me. I mean, if, if this guy had a, maybe a Madame Series, maybe he could do something. But uh, these were the, uh, the defenses that I had. So now I'm just scrolling through the teams trying to find specific targets. So with 10 minutes or so remaining, there's no mushroom into getting into a fight and just going out. I think I had a fight that went really bad. And um, I think this is not it. And my final fight also went really bad, which we'll see that when, when, uh, when the time comes. So this one, I go in there with my normal team. So here, ideally, Arbiter goes. Then uh, there's the increase in cooldowns. Defense down. And there's the there's the uh, damage. But here you see that there was a bit a shield surrounding Sifi. That's the uh, reaction um, accessories, which reduces the damage taken. But even so, because of the increase in cooldowns, the reaction have become less of an issue. They're still an issue, but become less of an issue because uh, Warlord helps you get those extra turns and, and do some damage after the first turn that the enemy takes. So once the first turn is taken, then the reaction um, gear doesn't work anymore. It's just there for the initial burst. Uh, protection against the initial burst, I would say. So yeah, pretty easy here. Fighting Tormin, just to clear it off. And I'm into Platinum right now. So the idea here is refresh and find easy teams. So I see these two teams. Um, this one, I could have I could have uh, fought this, but I know that this team is a strong defensive team. It can be very, very long lasting in terms of defense. This can go for a two or three minutes. Even if my Tranda was better geared, it would have been a risk because of uh, Swift Parry, um, Reaction sets, the Ally Protection sets, the Guardian sets, which drop from the Griffin. And uh, this guy right here, Counterphone, getting a weak hit on Counterphone. This could make my team just take a couple of minutes. So I said, no, I'll just refresh this. And then this one, Maybe I should have gone against this one. This one is again a very defensive team. Um, maybe maybe I should have gone against this one. I mean, how fast is this guy gonna be? I probably could have taken this, but I said, now I'll just refresh. Um, and then, can't remember which, which team I fought, so. Yeah, probably for, for the first team here. Yeah, with the same uh, the same kind of offense. So I didn't want to take risk. I knew that my defense was holding. So I said, okay, there's no point in risking taking mo more fight than I can actually take. So just take the easy way out. So here I'm just fishing for Swift Parry. Um, no procs from Swift Parry. I think it, it's just my damage being low. And then I think... I think we don't have a revive here, but that Sir Nick definitely hits hard when he did his A1 and a uh, pretty easy team to beat. So the next biggest upgrade that I could bring into my champions would be uh, my Trunda's gear, honestly, so that she can hit a little bit harder. Uh, she's at about a 5.5k attack. You'll see that in the end uh, when I showcase the teams. I'm at a 288 ranking right now. Not really worried about the racking because it can fluctuate a lot at the final minutes. So what is this? This is a team with a uh, this is a team with a torment. The, the issue with torment is my um, my warlock can actually get frozen. Here I was contemplating using hegemon instead, but I ended up not using hegemon. I don't know why I was thinking hegemon. Maybe so I can lock them out. But I still went with this team. Problem is that my so my uh, Warlord right here is not, uh, does not have an immunity set, but he has high resist. So I thought, okay, with high resist, 
I'll be able to resist Torment's Freeze. Um, and here we actually get frozen, but we still managed to get the boost in Terminator, so that was a little bit lucky, I guess. So you see the, the, the reaction gear on Warlord, proking there, he still hasn't taken a turn, now he takes a turn. So there's no more protection on him from the nuke from my Trunda, and I think now I can just go and, and clear them out, I think. Yeah, pretty easy. So, um, yeah, pretty solid, solid win here. I got some easy points. And then this one, did I, why did I not go against the Alton team? I don't know. Like a really defensive team, probably. Um, this one, again, a Torment team. Lucky here, no freezes. Uh, I got some resist. My, my Warlord is not very high in accuracy, unfortunately, like 300 accuracy. I just want to increase the cooldowns on the damage dealers. So here, I think I did in increase the cooldowns on uh, on Trenda. Trenda getting those resists. Oh no, probably didn't increase them because did she resist it? Maybe she resisted it. Can't remember. I think she did. There's no way she had it available. Um, boom. And that was it. And now I'm getting a few wins. So I'm at like one, two or three wins within Platinum. Um, I'm okay with three minutes remaining on the clock. Uh, that, that side. And uh, here, this one has a Vogoth. I go for my normal nuke team. So Vogoth provides a lot of healing to the team. You kind of need a burst to be uh, consistent. But here I get the increase in cooldowns. I think on almost everybody. Really solid, go there with the double tap, take the Rotos down, which is really, really good for me. It means that he didn't have like a reaction set to protect him um, from from uh, the taps. Here I get a weak hit, but I do get some kind of burst on Vogel, take him out. And I think here I just managed to clear it without the enemies um, getting a revive in. Which is, which is the idea of this team. So this team is an offensive team that has um, both Arbiter for revives and also uh, her Rector Drath. So um, solid win for this one as well. It just takes a little bit longer. So remember three minutes on the clock, the one minute I was in this fight. So if I was getting attacked all the time, um, I could probably lose more than I'm winning and actually drop down. So um, I think my defense held or I just didn't get attacked as much. So it's either of the two. I, I'm not a member of a clan that doesn't get attacked by anybody. I'm just a free agent. So uh, yeah, this team, I definitely lost against this one. So um, let's go Let's go back a few here so I can, can show you this uh, This team again. So this one, look look at what happens when the, uh, when the enemy goes. This one, uh, of course, enemy arbiter goes. I didn't know they were gonna be faster. Uh, what I could have done here instead would be to bring in somebody else instead of Madame Ceres, bring in my Valkyrie. So Valkyrie could have helped to cut in in between them. But that's the issue that I have with me not competing every single week. I don't have the time for every single week to push. So uh, I don't know which teams are faster, who is faster by name. Many people know them by name, so they know how to go uh, against them. So their Warlord, of course, increased my cooldowns. I couldn't go in. He, This guy is speed tuned with Warlord and, and, and an Arbiter. So he pretty much does what I do to enemies. So he did that to me um, with no chance for me to interrupt. So I kind of sucked. Um, I could have brought there Yoshi maybe for the fear, the true fear. Uh, because of the increased attack, he could maybe cut in and, and do some damage to the enemies. But uh, with the true fear, I mean. But um, in Unity gear, would have stopped my Yoshi from doing anything. So here, um, I, I mean, it's it's just the Mountain King just sniping my Trunda over and over and over again. I thought, okay, let me just go out. This was this was a risky move with, look at that, a minute on the clock, guys. So a minute, 15 seconds on the clock, I, I went out and I lost some points. So this cost me huge because not only did I not win the fight, so I didn't go 10 points up, I went 10 points down. So the, the ranking, my final ranking, matters a lot so this one was was a freebie <laughs> this one was a freebie obviously i don't know how that ended up there uh, i'm not proud of getting this win but i wouldn't say i couldn't say no to a free um 
a free win there. So I guess that that win uh, that win was free, but it definitely wasn't the one that got me into Platinum. I would say. At least I got that going. <laughs> At least I got that going. So uh, here's the increased cooldowns. It, this is not the final fight. This is one before the final fight. Uh, this was pretty easy. I was speed tuned. Uh, went first. Double tap. There we go. And then uh, I think I went for a final fight. No? Did I get this one as well? I managed to get two wins uh, on the final minute. Oh yeah, that was really good if I did. So this one's... He tried to be tanky with this team, but... If I get first, this team does nothing because of the increase in cooldown. And uh, which one hurt a lot? I think it was one with Seeker. So, yeah, this one. Okay, look at this. This one was my final fight. So, I'm into the Platinum Arena and stuff. But look at this. Okay, um, I'm going to pause it. Okay. We get a uh, resist and resist here on the increase in cooldowns. We only get one increase in cooldowns here. We get a decrease in Terminator, I think, there. And then we get a resist also on Valky. That that sucked a lot. So there's the defense down only. <laughs> so I get again a resist, resist, resist on everybody. I don't know how much resistance this guy has. So 600 resist um, accuracy on my Madam series. This guy had higher, obviously, to get resists, resist and resist. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Honestly, what kind of gear they've got. So here. Um, <laughs> Uh, just everybody goes. I mean, I was looking at the clock. I was already 20. I needed to beat this team in 20 seconds. So by looking at all these shields, no defense down. There's a block block damage there on uh, Sandlashed with all that shield. It, it was like, what? And uh, I, I looked at the clock. I was like, should I just carry on? There's no point in me. I could just exit. I just left it going for a little bit so that I... I, I I, I wouldn't lose a point, but um, after the hour goes by, so that's when the actual reset happens, and um, the ranking from this, either a win or a loss, wouldn't matter. So, but definitely really tanking team. Look at that. Look at that. Barely getting scratched. Um, I think the biggest issue with this one was the increase in cooldowns not landing. So that was a big issue. But with 300 accuracy, I mean, my 600 accuracy, Madam Series didn't go and, and get it, so... This guy, this guy is getting kills on my Tranda with, with just the counter attacks from uh, Valky. So this one, uh, this is just the animation for the reset, and really happy. Uh, look at that, landed in platinum, and this was my actual best ever uh, ranking. So take a look at that. Click it, boom! Congratulations, being number 147 in platinum this is my best ever ranking and the gear that i got was totally bad so one piece of swift parry um does nothing to my account unfortunately uh void okay no gems <laughs> and an epic skill tone because uh of the amount of champions you use to get into platinum you need those epic skill books um you saw that i was using only epic champions and platinum definitely rewards you with more epic skill books um, that's a joke by the way. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, th uh, this was, I was really happy with the ranking. I didn't expect to get so high. It was my best ever finish. Usually I finish in the 200s. Um, and yeah, and I'm definitely happy with that. I'll try to push next week also. Um, but you know, with work obligations and stuff, I, I can't push every single week, but I'll try to do so. So, um, yeah, let's go over to the gearing of my, um, my characters guys and see how, uh, I gear them out um, if you're interested. So first things first, um, it was a great arena push that I did not expect to get top 150. 147 is the highest uh, finish that I've ever done in Platinum. And I honestly, it, it's it's getting a lot tougher, especially for me. Um, I don't talk to any of the other clans. I don't have people who compete in arena all the time to talk with. So I'm just going with whatever I think it's, it's okay and I try to push and sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does work and it did work this time so let's go um, first things first is my arbiter didn't change much honestly uh, the only thing that is notably different is this which is the reaction ring that I have on her uh, when she is slower she's at a 264 uh, 364 sorry um, when she is slower then um, well that reaction might help her survive a little bit more, but it's not like having uh, all all reaction pieces. Unfortunately, I only have one, 
Um, it's fine. It does what it's supposed to. I haven't done a real speed upgrade on my Arbiter for quite a while. I mean, I do have still two pieces, uh, which are three uh, five star gear with uh, one triple roll and one quad roll here. This is the oldest speed gear that I have, I think, uh, on my account, uh, like a five star glove. Uh, with a four uh, quad roll on on speed, so yeah, she's relatively fast. So she is the main uh, champion that I use in all my fights, trying to get faster than the uh, enemies. And if I don't get faster, honestly, um, I haven't built a team where I need to go second, since I still don't know all the enemies um, that I'm fighting. So many of um, many other players who play arena know what the enemy team's speeds are so they know okay I can, i'll go in with a go second team so um when that happens it's it's totally different so you need to build them a little bit differently so this is my arbiter next um uh, did i use chris i did use chris in some of the fights and and he here he is with the shield set he is with the shield set and immortal set uh, honestly with about 200 speed he's okay 74,000 health i know this can go way higher 300 accuracy only because honestly I'm only worried about landing a defense down and a decreased attack on the damage dealers. And if it lands on anybody else, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I was focusing on, on getting a lot of health so that he can then give it back to the whole team. And that's through his passive, but also through that big um, shield set that he has. Then uh, next up, I think I used... Uh, yeah, I did definitely use Warlord. So this is my Warlord, guys. Swift Parry said he is definitely there to be annoying. This is my fastest swift parry set that i have he's got uh one reaction set right here i didn't have any other reaction pieces to equip on him so in the case he went second he could maybe survive uh, a little bit with this but um i was focusing on resistance on him um although my resistance is quite low i mean i would be happier if this was 500 and higher in order for it to do something uh, but then again um his accuracy is still at the low point comparing all the other sets that i wanted to focus on him so getting a little bit of health, a little bit of defense, 286 on speed, so he's speed tuned with my Arbiter. Um, I think he needs to go a little bit higher to be actually speed tuned, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, I'm trying to push it and I'll slowly be pushing it. My biggest upgrade could be my banner, which is a, a single roll item. I'm just not finding any accuracy or uh, speed banner. So um, that's how I built my Warlord. He's of course maxed out on, on everything, masteries and everything i even got the resistance mastery right here in the defense tree for him and then uh next up is my cadrophone that i use for defense another swift parry gear this is um this is honestly it needs a little bit of an upgrade but my defense i was trying something new this time with a cadrophone that does a lot of damage so 96 percent critical rate um i could get this a little bit higher but then i would drop some critical damage uh, i'm trying to push the gear here left and right to see where I can actually take this Cadrophon. I can probably get him to 100% and lose about 10% critical damage. Uh, and that will be fine. I just don't want to lose more attack here. Uh, the speed is low because um, basically my defense, I'm just counting on going second. So um, I just wanted to get attacked. And Cadrophon through a counter attack would do some damage. And also when eventually he would get a turn because of all the protection that my team provides, um, he would do some serious damage with the... Uh, critical damage sets although here maybe i should have put cruel sets i'm still still working on that I, I i don't see a real reason for critical damage maybe he needs more cruel so he just has the, that um defense penetration you know um i only have helm smasher on him for defense penetration and that's rng so um next up was uh of course my trunda trunda hasn't changed at all the uh, immunity set on her is what i'm using it's a broken immunity set also so uh, it's just the immunity bonus don't have another bonus on her um, she could be way better than she is 5.5k attack 209 speed 100 crit 257 critical damage i know there's way better trundas out there so i definitely had situations where i needed more damage and i was thinking man i need to put uh, attack percent gloves uh, not gloves boots <laughs> on my tranda so that she does way more damage but i just need to farm a lot more and it's uh, it's it's just an endless grind and it's all RNG getting the gear and and of course some of the champions that I'm missing like a Kaimar and Necred those were noticeable um, when I was attacking and then next up is my Duchess Lily 2 again Swift Parry this is like a crazy set it's it's used by everyone so I'm, I'm pretty much using it also so that I get 
um, as much protection as possible. So look at her stats, 87,000 health, 3,000 uh, defense, 266 speed, not trying to get faster or anything, 248 resistance, um, not that high. I could get this a little bit higher maybe, but um, sometimes I think it's just no point in pushing that resistance. Uh, I just want her with a lot of health so that she survives uh, some of the nukes. And I'll reconsider her uh, gearing in the future when um, when I need to change up my defense. Honestly, on this reset, I didn't get attacked that much. I, attacked, I got attacked four times. I won one, which isn't great, but it isn't bad either. Since if I, if I won at least one out of four, um, uh, I was fine with that. And and of course, my uh, Madame Ceres, here she is. I'm using the um, immunity Ma Madame Ceres with a perception set. She's got about 600 almost accuracy, 258 speed. And, uh, well, yeah, those are the stats that you need. 600 accuracy, almost 258 speed. I need to get that over 600, obviously, but um, getting there, slowly getting there. Uh, I'm running out of glyphs. That's the that's the biggest issue. And I think that's it for my champions, guys. So uh, I didn't use anybody else this time. Didn't use my Vogoth. Didn't use my Seeker. Ooh, I actually had removed the glove out of the Seeker. So I need to replace this. So, yeah, I didn't. I didn't use any of the other ones. So this was the video, guys. If you did enjoy this uh, plat push video, please uh, leave <laughs> leave a like down below. Comment on uh, what and if you want to see more platinum videos like these. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.